And we continue our Sports Express on this Friday the 13th with a look at another team trying to stay unbeaten. Greenwood Granton is the third undefeated team that Loyal is facing this year. The Greyhounds looking to bounce back from a loss to Owen Withy in week three. We're tied at six in the second. Loyal on the move. Logan Fulweiler using his legs. Now that would get them a first down. And just a few drives later, Loyal trying to make something happen in a tie game. Fullweiler drops back, but the G2 defense collapses on him, and they take him down for the sack. G2 scores 20 unanswered points in the second half. They get the win 26-6. McDonald Central and Newman Catholic both looking to leave a losing record behind them. In the first quarter, scoreless game, Eric Bijinski with a nice floater to Brody Lemke. Now check out this juke. Fakes the defense, and hey, got to give the kid credit. He can run, too. 68 yards to the end zone. Newman takes a 7-0 lead. Well, this is a multi-talented group. Same frame, and Bychinski proves he can use his legs. He scores the TD himself, and the Fighting Cardinals lead 14-zip. Newman wins 58-21. More Cloverwood action. Owen Withy on the verge of a 4-0 start, hosting winless Thorpe. Third quarter, tied at 8. Brennan Schiltz drops back to pass, but Owen Withy having none of it as Lance Rinderman jumps up and swats it down. In the fourth, Owen with the up 14 and eight, adding to the lead, Albert Gorlitz on the keeper, makes his way around the edge and into the end zone, makes it 22 to eight. Owen with takes care of business, 22 to 14 is the final. And we head back to the Marywood, unbeaten Edgar traveling to Pittsville. First quarter, Connor Handrick connects with Cody Weiler, Cuts back to the inside and picks up a total of 27 yards. Well, let's take a look at the next play. Hendrick aims to the end zone, and that's where he can find Camden Heidman. Wildcats strike first, taking an 8-0 lead. In the second quarter, Wildcats deep in Panthers territory on a fourth down. Hendrick tosses to Blake Lehman, but there's nowhere to run. Alec Kohler sticks it to him, allowing Pittsville to take over on downs. Edgar stays undefeated, winning 45-12. And for more action from the Marywood, we go back to our Sports Express Command Center, as David likes to call it, where we can find David DeGuzman, and he picks up our coverage. David? Yep, score still coming in, and we are minutes away from revealing our stars of the night. But we have a few more highlights to show you, so let's just get right to it. We'll head to Auburndale, where the Apaches hosted Rib Lake, Prentice, Thorpe Field, rededicated with alumni from 1948 to 1954. Second quarter, Auburndale's defensive front tracked down quarterback Austin Ewan for a sack, and the Hawks would eventually have to punt. Apaches take possession, up 41-6. Blake Anderson starts the drive with a pass to Matthew Nicolay. Good move to stay in bounds and a pickup of 18 yards. The drive ends with the same combo. Anderson lofts it up for Nicolay, who makes a great adjustment, and that's a touchdown. The Apaches roll 61-6. A huge matchup in the CW8. Defending state champ Amherst puts its 16-game win streak on the line against Pacelli. Closing minutes of the first half, Pacelli trying to get out of the backfield, but Isaac Elliott is taken down by Garth Groshek. And Pacelli unable to put any points going into the half. In the second, Garth's brother Garrett Groshek hands it off, and Connor Zablaski heads into the end zone on an eight-yard run. Amherst dominating Pacelli 48-8. The Falcons' winning streak is now at 17. Port Edwards looking to go 3-1 and one and take control of the CW10. Tri-County driving down the field, but Mitch Marinak gets taken down. Credit the sack to Zach Goggins and Logan Russell. Blackhawks force a fourth down and a punt. First play from sk scrimmage. Look who gets through traffic, gets by some of the white jerseys, and will take it all the way. He finished for 266 rushing yards, including two touchdowns. Ford Edwards wins the matinee game over Tri-County by a 40-14 to margin. All right, our team has poured through all the stats that have come into our command center. Time to reveal our stars of this Friday the 13th. Merrill's Mason Reinhardt with 115 rushing yards tonight. Not enough to lead Merrill to the win, though. They lost to Medford by three points. Wausau West is Jacob Martin also getting a, sh uh, a shout out tonight. Ran for 210 yards and three touchdowns in the Warriors 27 to nine win over Everest. So that will wrap things up from our Sports Express Command Center, AKA the newsroom. If you missed any of our highlights or to find out a score from tonight, head to the sports section of our website, waow.com. Our 